All right, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Over the Mod of Repentance. Today, we're going to hop in as Eden, because you know how I feel about Eden, especially after that C-Second Star. Give me something good. D100, and then, like, a lot of tears because of starvation, and I believe... Okay, you know what? D6 that. Get out of here. Starvation is the one that gives you more damage on higher HP, but less damage on lower... I mean, less damage, but higher rate of fire and lower HP. It's a good start. I mean... It doesn't matter if your damage is 2.35 when your tier rate is 5.44. So it's like, I would definitely call this a good start. D100 is a good safety net as well. I mean, not impossible to lose in the D100, but it's harder to lose the D100 for sure. Just because, wait, what is our, okay, our, our pocket active slot is, I have to move something. Hold on. I, I was doing a very long stream last night. Forgot to move my webcam stand, which is also a Magic the Gathering card box. But uh, I forgot to move my webcam stand. So... We're going to talk about the streams. Okay, let's uh, let's do question of the day. Uh, do you care at all about Pokemon? I think I've already done this one, but it's so relevant to the conversation that I must ask. Because uh, we're going to talk about Pokemon today. Listen, I'm sorry. I know some of you don't care about Pokemon, and you're going to be like, wow, this idiot's talking about Pokemon again. How could you? Let me have it, man. Just, just let me have it. Uh, last night, Pokemon Legends of Arceus came out. And, wow. Um, it is... If you don't like Pokemon, if you've never liked Pokemon... I highly suggest you check out this game in whatever fashion you can. Um, I mean, like, if you just, if you obviously don't spend $60 if you don't like Pokemon, like, don't, don't take that gamble, right? Unless you really don't care about your money. But, uh, it is so phenomenal. Even from an outside of Pokemon perspective, if I'm just talking about, uh, if I am just talking about how good the game is as a game, it is phenomenal. Like, I understand Pokemon games are really just, they're good, they're really good, but if you don't like the genre, you don't like the genre. This completely changes everything. Legends of Arceus is, is so different, so wacky. Change the enemies? Uh, re oh, restart the room. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always forget what certain dice do. Uh, but yeah, like, it is just so different, so game-changing, so weird and wacky in the best ways possible that... I like Sulfuric Acid. We're not going to D6 that. I'm glad the, the game gave me the option to twice in a row, though. That was kind of generous. But uh, I don't really feel like I need to. Because now we get all the Soul Hearts and uh, Secret Rooms in the world. And with... Uh, with Spelunker's hat, which we did re-roll into for the first item room, uh, we actually will get every secret room in the game, hopefully. Empress grants uh, two, two, two health up, 1.35 tiers up. That's good. Uh, that, that's just going to be like a nice little thing. I don't know if the tiers up ignores tiers cap, but I kind of would hope it does, because if, like, what's the point of a card that its whole point is, hey, I give you tiers, if it doesn't ignore tier cap? It becomes like 20 times better the second it ignores tier cap. Obviously, maybe that's the point as to why they wouldn't make it, because they're like, oh, we don't want it to be good, but I don't know why they would not want it to be good. Anyway, Pokemon Legends of Arceus follows the... It doesn't follow anything, actually. It doesn't even come close to following the normal Pokemon script. The one thing that is the same to some degree, and it still isn't even the same, though it's similar enough for me to tell you it is, is the battles are Pokemon style. I mean, you know, it's semi-turn-based in a different way. They, they differently formulated. Also, if you don't want spoilers, we won't really be going into uh, depth about spoilers or what happens in the game, more just strict gameplay stuff that uh, is how the game plays, and then we'll be done with the conversation. So if you're worried about spoilers, don't worry about that. Uh, but... Yeah, the battles are turn-based, but not in the normal format because sometimes Pokemon can attack twice, for instance, depending on uh, a certain mechanics that you can abuse, and it's great. Um, just everything about how the room is done is so different. It's not the room. I just said the room because I was like, this is. I was gonna say uh, I don't like this room, and then I said the room, and then we got so goddamn many bad pills. Uh, yeah, that sucked. But uh, yeah, just about how the game is formulated, it is fantastic. It is so new and fresh, and I, I highly recommend you checking it out, even if you have zero interest in Pokemon. Moving on to the run, I'm feeling pretty good about it, if we're going to be honest. Also, we do have an Eternal D6 here. Uh, I'm Listen, this is a weird call to use it so early, but I genuinely feel like Gemini is one of the uh, more annoying first floor bosses. We could definitely get something worse in the next room and then regret using this, but... If we get so like, what if we never get a more annoying boss in this because our run ends up being broken, then we never use the Empress card, right? Too too good to use syndrome is is a bad thing that ends up getting a lot of people sad. Okay, well we're not gonna end up using the Eternal D6 because oh it's for one minute. Never mind, I'm super happy we did this. I I literally read that and went oh I, what a, what I'm so shocked. How does this work? All right, well for one minute it's really good then. Uh, I wish it would just last forever because then our run would be actually really really good. But here's the thing, never in a million years we're not doing it. 
What's in here, though? Don't oh, take it before the thing runs away. Okay. We got it for free. Okay. Um, this is our run, though. And the stats, like... No, they didn't just go away. What do we have seven rate of fire now? Oh, because we got rid of our health. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we can go all path. I wish we had a, uh... No, 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 no. We're not, we're not gonna... We're not D100ing this run. This run's too good. Um, yeah, I wish... I wish we had a little bit... A little bit of damage right now. I think the card might still be in effect, which is giving us damage, but, like... Yeah, there it is. Uh, so the card wasn't giving us damage. Uh, the reason we got damage from the card, quote-unquote, is because we got more HP and the starvation gave us the damage. So that adds up. Still, though, I would like a little bit more damage. Our run is really good. We have Incubus and uh, really high rate of fire, which means we're shooting a lot of tears. So the run is just inherently going to be fun and good and wacky and, and cool. And these pills are going to suck. I already know it. That's okay, technically. That's okay, technically. That's really good, technically. Okay, so I was completely wrong. Oh, well, moving on. We're gonna go fight the boss right away because I feel like I can, and then if I can, I will, basically. Uh, ED6. We can go through all of this, uh, hellhole. So you get one golden bomb for the floor when we already have sulfuric tears. Don't do it. I was gonna do it. You saw me, like, get ready. I was like, alright, we're going, we're going, we're going. But, uh, the only thing that helps with this stuff, like, stone chest right like that like that in one case uh where it's like okay well you can get a stone chest for this i guess but i don't really care about that um honestly we're never gonna d100 so let's just take blank card i don't think blank card works with dice rune or anything dice bag but either way it's just like i think blank card is gonna be a better card for us than this like if we had blank card the empress card we would have been very happy but we don't and I'll, I'll probably cry about it that's basically a free deal with the devil every floor too think about that right that's pretty darn cool and again, so it would be like Blank Rune, Soul Loss. But that's harder to get because it's Blank Rune. And when that, whenever do you see Blank Rune? Even though, I feel like when Repentance started, Blank Rune was like, well, Clear Rune, sorry. Uh, I feel like Clear Rune was the item that you always saw 24-7. And then like Repentance just kept going and it stopped being that way. It is a heart container, which is going to hurt us and help us. See, like, it's a weird trade-off. I think we get, like, we get basically as much damage as we're getting tears. But what matters more? I don't actually know. And I'm gonna, like, probably avoid any health ups from now on, because I'm happy with where our stats are right now. I would actually like my fire rate to be a little higher, if I'm being honest. So, okay, well, listen, everywhere was death right there. There wasn't much of an option. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with where my health is now, and I'm happy with my where my stats are now. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess things too much. If we see a health up, we're just gonna have to skip it, unless it's, like, a health up plus damage, like me, right? It's something that's actually worth it, where we'll get stats on top of getting the health. But anything just like breakfast, we'll probably ignore. Sorry about that, I was clearing my throat. Okay, uh, item room. What are you? D1. Take the mystery. So, not exactly where I wanted this run to go. I'm not gonna lie, that's not the exact direction I was hoping for. Um, this is gonna suck. I listen, I, I actually, I used to be a fan of soy milk, okay? I really did used to love soy milk, and then I got it a lot, and then I realized it always fucking sucked, and it never helped me. So now I'm not a big fan of soy milk, and I'm not looking forward to this. Yeah, but the stream last night was super fun. Um, last night I ended up streaming for... Seven hours, which isn't like the longest time in the world, but the the problem comes in when I stream from 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. That's what, because like if I had started earlier, but what would have been the point? It was a Legends of Arceus stream and Legends of Arceus dropped at 12. Um, if I had streamed earlier, I probably could have gone for like a 12 hour stream yesterday alone. Uh, however, I'm not going to go for a 12 hour stream when that would involve staying up till 12. I could stay up till 12. I just don't want to stay up while talking and commentating over a uh, live stream for... 12 hours, you know, because did my commentary start to suck by the end? Yeah, but like I was still talking throughout all of it. Except for the part where I made a sandwich and I then I ate a sandwich, but like minus that one sandwich, I was talking throughout all of it, so realistically, like I was still good to go. If I could still talk, I could definitely still commentate. Well, that's how they're the same thing. If I could still talk, I could definitely still stream for like at least another hour. I wasn't yet at the point where, like, my talking had just completely stopped. So there was definitely more stream time left in me. But it was a point where I was like, okay, well, now I'm just, like, I I'm just not in it. Like, I, I want to go to sleep because I was too tired to, like, 
care about the story of the game and everything. And if I don't care about the story... Also, I think the plus two damage to one tier... I don't know if that's one of these items, but I think that's one of those items that is completely true. Like, it actually gives plus two damage to one tier regardless of uh, your negative damage multipliers. Which would explain why we are absolutely melting Chubb right now, by the way. Not Chubb. Yeah, his name is Chubb. Uh, we're melting him, and I believe it's because of that. And Incubus gets that for every tier, so... Chemical Peel, literally one of the best items I could have gotten, assuming that it's doing it. Uh, neutral slash good pill. Yuck. I mean, we got a health container, which lowered our tiers, but gave us a little bit of damage. And I'm not going to lie, I think that was really bad. Uh, I think we want to get rid of uh, a couple of our health... Because the thing is, we have at least two damage in every other tier. So physical damage stat doesn't really matter. I say we go all in on tiers and get some flight, and get to 20 tiers, and then we'll call it here. We're not going to grab another item, but... I think 20 rate of fire with plus two damage in our left eye. It's left, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With plus two damage in our left eye, it just seems good. Um, it, it, assuming that item works how I think it does. And once again, I don't actually know. But, like, I'm pretty... Because I know there's some items that work like that. Like, Lump of Coal, I believe, is one of them. Where it still gives the same damage buff to even soy milk. Just because that's how it functions. It is additive and it ignores your... Uh, we don't really care. I bet. The completion of each room wants additional B orbital for Isaac or B... Uh, if, if Isaac... If, 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 uh, great. So, at the end of every room that we complete, we get a B orbital. If Isaac has ever hit B orbital, go bye-bye. I think B orbital... Uh, I don't know what he does, but I think he might just block tears if we're being honest. That could be good, though. I mean, if it spawns a lot and they don't break on getting shot, then theoretically... Okay, they're also leaving little, little pee stains everywhere. I do like that. Uh, but yeah, if they, if they... If we can spawn a lot because we're not getting hit then theoretically we could have like a whole ring of them and if we get a whole ring of them don't bad trip me thank you if we get a whole ring of them then that could be like actually mega good because theoretically we could just like almost never get hit but there's got to be some sort of way around that right like maybe there's a cap to your b orbitals or maybe the b orbitals do break over time or just something because the premise of getting just a full ring of b orbitals seems too good to be true but we're gonna keep full clearing to test it out Okay, uh, I don't like this situation I found myself in. That's one big boy down. Okay, we still have one rock left. Oh boy, this room was like one of those rooms that definitely could have hit us. It's not like, it's, we're not like the lost or anything. Kyle's still killing us, just giving you a ghost figure for the room. We like, we like the dice bag around here. Um, yeah, it's not like, careful of the mushrooms. Careful of the mushrooms. Okay. Uh, it's not like getting hit is that bad, but I am so... Oh, I think we're capped on flies already. I'm not gonna lie. If any... If, to be honest, kind of weak. Uh, I really... If we are capped on flies and I'm not just like... If, if I'm making things up, oops. But let's count. We have six. Do we get seven or are we stuck at six forever? Yeah, I'll be honest. Six doesn't seem super strong. It seems really good, but not like super really good. And that kind of upsets me. I was hoping for a super really good situation. Eh, we don't want the health up. But I uh, know. Uh, recharge your active item. Okay, so it's either gonna. Let's see if we can just get the tears up. Tears down, of course, of course. Uh, we only did that because it was for the room, so it's like. Worst case scenario, we're slightly inconvenienced till we walk out of that room. And, like, you know, that didn't really bother me all that much, so. Let's keep going. Um, we have seven bombs. Did we also have 40 cents? We don't need either of those. That's a trade that, at the end of the day, probably won't matter at all. What is in here? This is honestly, like, a pretty solid room for us. Just getting one more heart is nice. Because we're going to be rolling a, a soul heart build in Repentance. Which, that's kind of rare nowadays, I would say. It's not super common. So, it's going to be it's gonna be interesting for sure. I'm not sure how it's going to go. As long as you're not idiots, you should be fine. Sorry about that. I needed a quick coffee break. Because I, I was, like, eyeing my coffee for this entire episode. I saw, like, I was thinking about that coffee. And the second I realized I could pause the recording, I was like, I'm going to just down that coffee. So, I down the coffee. We're nice and awake now. I didn't... Last night was weird. I really, like... I, I have sleep problems in the fact that I usually can't get to sleep. But I never have problems, like, staying asleep. From, like... I want to say it was about 8.30 a.m. is when I, quote-unquote, fell asleep last night. So from, like, 8.30 a.m. And then I remember the clock. I looked at the clock uh, for a little bit. So, like, 11.30 a.m. I could not actually ever fall into, like, a deep sleep. Like... I was sleeping because from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. only felt like a couple hours. But, like, I, I think I was just waking up, like, every two seconds. Can never really fall into a deep sleep. And how I know if I'm not in a deep sleep is if I ever remember my dream, that's 9 out of 10 times means I'm not in a deep sleep. Like, that's just all. Like, I, I am just sort of asleep, right? 
Uh, and I do, I did vividly remember my dreams. In the case you're wondering, yes, and I'm not joking, they were all about Pokemon Legends of Arceus. So, uh, you know, call me out, you know, say whatever you want about that. I'm, I, I liked them. I, I was, I was happy with my, with my dreams that night. But like, yeah, it was, it was a good like. How, how many hours is that? Like eight, nine, ten. It's like three hours, and maybe it was like a good three hours where I was just like not really asleep. And when I, and when I saw the clock, I was like. Ooh, you can be upgraded, can't you? Damage up, that's huge. Damage up, that's huge. It probably does full damage now. Let me check the uh, exact numbers in the encyclopedia. It should have them, I'm assuming. But, yeah, like, half of my sleep last night was barely even sleep. And the other half, I fucking clocked out and then woke up and I was like, damn. Oh, Ultra, line with the play direction and slight damage up when the damage is less than... Oh, so 0 0.33 the damage is less than 2. So it actually... It is doing probably, like, more damage than us right now, I'm not gonna lie to you, just because of soy milk. Uh, okay. That makes... Wait, but isn't, doesn't it align with the player direction? That seems like... I feel like I've been completely lied to. Hold on. Upgrades. Ultra. Due to API, the damage bonus does not work with every... Uh, lasers, bombs, that's fine. Aligns with the player direction. Listen, I think you're completely lying to me because I'm not seeing that happen, which it's, listen, I'd be, maybe like you decided that was too broken. So you, the mod creator, by the way, is who you is, uh, cause I'm not being very specific there. Like maybe, oh, another one. How did I not notice this? Um, maybe you decided it was too broken. Is, is this like a black market? Hmm. Not quite. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine by me, to be honest. Oh, that's, uh, that's Alexa, baby. Not bad, but I want to go for better. Could have just uh, smelted our trinket, but we didn't. We don't want that health up. We do want the damage. There we go. All right. Uh, good eye, Mayor Room. I hope that didn't screw up our pathing. I think we're still in uh, depths two now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that was perfectly fine. Great. <laughs> Great. Uh, I can work with this. This is, oh, not this again. Okay. Remember last episode when we were like, damn, it's so goddamn broken. Wow. I can't believe how laggy the game is. We're nowhere near that territory. But, like, come on. And the best part is our damage seems... There goes all of our fucking bees. They... Our damage seems fine. I mean, like, not incredible because we have 0.88 damage with only 6 rate of fire because the monster is long. But the damage does seem good. I mean, like... You'll see us kind of kill things, and if you're killing things, usually your damage is pretty good. We could get, uh, that. Does, does this work? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We literally have... Oh, it's only for the room. Okay, so every two rooms we can get a Holy Mantle charge right now. That's not even, like, bad. It's just not great. Um, we would like something better, but Empress isn't great either. So, we'll hold on to this for now. This run is just... The worst part is, like, this is vanilla. What Everything that's doing this, for the most part, is freaking vanilla. Just monsters, lung, soy milk, parasite, uh, incubus. But you know that's like, that's just normal stuff. Okay, we need the. Do we want Bumbo? I mean, I don't see why not. Spawns a penny. How many rooms does it take? Every. You know what? Every room, Bumbo, you get one penny. Okay, fine. You can take this one too. There you go. Every room, Bumbo gets a penny. That's fine. Whenever things start to get laggy, that's typically when I tend to go speedrun mode a little bit more. So we're not going to fully speed run, but I think we are going to start going faster. I think our run is probably strong enough to win the game. And I have to wait till we fight a boss, which is happening now. But I have to wait till right now. Because I don't know how much damage we're doing against bosses. Okay. Our damage is definitely enough to win the game. Because that, right there, all that meant was that in one mom stop, we actually almost killed her. You know, it felt like a bit of a long time because of, uh... Because of just how laggy it was. It really wasn't long. Uh, I'm not even going to take the damage. Up to positive damage. That's not bad at all. I just used the D1. That's why we didn't spawn a penny. I get it now. Okay, are we gonna... Listen. I think this could be really good. So, I... Well, on one hand, I don't want to do boss rush. On the other hand, I think ghost pepper with soy milk. Even if you have, uh... Even if you have monster's lung, which is completely lowering our fire rate. Ghost pepper, soy milk. Like, look how much it's proccing, right? Like, that's a lot. And we don't even have, like, a good luck stat. It seems to be proccing like every time. What does even ha I actually don't understand why it's proccing so much. It seems like it's proccing more than it unless like it has a chance to proc per tier, including like Monster's Lung being like a shotgun blast. I thought it was per time you shoot Monster's Lung, but I could be wrong, because 
zero chance we should be shooting a ghost fire this much. Like, this is a lot. Um, this, this is a lot. It did make our run, like, infinitely better, though, for sure. Which is uh, kind of the point. Also, we could theoretically get something really good from Boss Rush. I really thought we were going to get stopped there. We get something really good from Boss Rush itself, because you do get that free item at the end. So it's not like... It's not like there's no reason to do boss rush. I've gotten some pretty, like, pretty really damn good items. Pretty really damn good, as you know. The classic. But I've gotten some pretty good items from boss rush. Nothing... I don't think I've ever had, like, a, a run-winning or game-changing item from boss rush. But I've got some that I'm like, you know what? Thank you. That was worth doing boss rush. So, I will say, though, nine times out of ten when you do boss rush, it's like, oh, you did all of boss rush? Here's the bean. And you're like, well, you know. Like, if I could choose between having the bean and not having the bean... If I already have an active item, I, I really am not going to choose to have it. So, thanks for the thought, but, like, the thought isn't what counts here. It's whatever wins the run. Though, for this run, it is really what the, it's what the thought is because, like, you know, we don't actually need anything and we've already won the run. Where's the middle? There we go. Okay, Death, you leave. I hate you. We can out-damage him. We can out-damage him. Hell yeah. Okay, this run is really strong and we got our bees back. And to be honest, the bees are the only thing that matter. Uh, we actually, fun fact, all of our strength come from the bees. None of it has to do with, uh, like the other items at all. 100% bee strength right here. And you might be thinking, well, what are these orbitals that aren't doing anything even doing? Uh, it's moral support. Every team needs a moral carry, right? Someone that can really just make them feel alright. And I think, uh, for us, that's, that's team bees. Go grab it, buddy. You've earned it. Look, another one. Aren't you happy? Oh, one of the tankiest bosses in the game. Just kidding. Not like, not including boss armor and stuff. I know, guys. I get that Hush is technically more tanky than Mega Fatty. Okay, I'm not like, I'm not an idiot. Well, I'm definitely an idiot, but not like, not that dumb. Alright, boss rush is done. What do we get as a reward? You know what? Rotten Tomato is actually like a 10 out of 10 item. And Bumbo, will you grab your coin? Hell yeah, brother. Alright, moving on. We're gonna try speedrunning now. Uh, let's see how fast we can get to the end of the game. We have Spelunker's Hat, which actually helps like a ton. Because we can see two rooms ahead. All right, now we have a Chaos, which actually helps a ton. Yes, I am aware of the fact that I had a uh, D6, and that I could have re-rolled that and potentially gotten, like, uh, Arky or something wacky like that, but, like, at the same time, I don't actually care is the problem. Like, at all. I, I wanted Chaos. Chaos is more fun. All right, that's Womb 1 clear. Dude, okay. This run, we're going to clear this so fast. Cause it's, we're 17 minutes in right now. And we can, you just saw how fast we went through the womb. That was like, no, honey, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's another B item. Upon hit, though. So when we lose our Bs, we're actually going to gain more Bs, which is a really good premise. I'm really happy about that. Can we go up? I think this is the right way. You know what? That could be the right way. Uh, how does Tammy's head look? Wow. So interesting. Can we just leave? Yep, screw you. We're, <laughs> we're not playing your games. Oh, we're already at the end? That's a fast womb. Okay, come on. We're, go we're going for records now, okay? How fast can you clear from womb one to the end of the game? He didn't even get to spawn the eye lasers. He literally didn't even get to think about it. He was like, I have to skip a whole phase because of how goddamn fast you're going. Empty heart, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Uh, we have the negative. Let's go down. Almost went up, which would have been sad. I'm, th I'm feeling down. I'm feeling down. That is a mini boss, so odds are it's not that way. We're gonna go down. Okay, nope. Uh, okay, no, no, no. This is the right way. I don't know where to go yet. It's up, it's up, it's up. Ow, screw you. We got more bees. Get destroyed. Get destroyed. Even more bees. Get... You always... They always think they have me until I get the... Until I get even more bees. Then they're like, wow, I never saw this coming. Okay, I want I want a safety room that we can retreat to if, if ever necessary. I think we're going... No, no, no. We're definitely going right. I don't even know why I thought up was correct. Physically, like... Because Splunker Hat shows you two rooms away, up was impossible. Alright. No, we actually, I was like, okay, let's go to the boss. No, we actually have to clear rooms. Are you kidding me, dude? Never do that again. Uh, boss time. This will be the longest uh, room for a while because we have to wait for this whole situation. <laughs> where this man decides he needs to, like, spawn in. Oh, yeah, leeches are our friends, including those guys. We actually have some uh, friend leechy boys, which is good. They're just going to blow up and maybe even hit me. They can probably still hit me if I had to guess. Uh, I don't have proof, but I'm feeling like they can. Okay. Are we going to get a sub 20 minutes? I mean, the real question is, are we going to get a sub 19 minutes? Because 20 seems guaranteed at this point. 19, I feel like it's possible, but, like, just barely possible. Like, we would have to 
Oh wait, can't you not break through doors in this floor, right? Or do they change that at some point? All right, is anything good here? No. Um. Okay, well we're not getting the sub twenty minute sub. I'm uh, sorry, we're not getting the sub nineteen minute. And with curse of the loss, there's a chance you don't even get the sub twenty minute. That's good though. I mean, actually, no, it's not. We have no exp like. I guess explosions can't hurt us now, which is cool. But like, we're not going to be seeing many explosions, to be fair, because, like, oh come on, that would have been perfect. But instead, no, 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 no. We have curse of the. I can't see anything, so that's never going to help. I think we're going. Just judging by the fact there's four rooms down here, though, I have a feeling we're going the right way. Well, that kind of changes that. What's our time? Yeah, uh, sub nineteen is now basically impossible just waiting for the chest alone takes like a second or two and then you know obviously we have to get there and stuff trash bag is we'll take we don't need blank card at all i'm sorry mr uh mr bumbo you didn't get your dream of becoming a big strong boy but it's fine uh basically don't worry about it no one cares go die dude why do you take so long this should be a card that removes the curse for the floor i'm just saying no, like, removes the curse for a room. For one room, I get to look at the map, memorize it, and go, okay. A one-room one map removal. Oh, not map removal. One-room curse removal. I think that could be good. I'm trying to think of what curses that would be weird on. Like, I wouldn't really matter for some curses, but then again, like, so many cards are situational anyway. Like, Hangman doesn't even matter at all if you have flight, so... I don't think it matters that this card doesn't matter if you're on a certain, certain floor. Like, eventually, you're probably going to get a curse that uh, it matters with. So... I would say, uh, card of the curse be gone is pretty cool. Okay, this room is awful in slow-mo. I feel like the worst part is I'm pretty confident that if we didn't have curse of the, uh, curse of the lost, we 100% would have gotten the sub 20. Yeah, but I was going to say, but I'm feeling like we're not going the right way and that ruins our dream. Sub 20 dream has been ripped from our hands by a fucking just horribly timed curse. Uh, unless it's right up here. Oh, you know what? It's a big room. It could definitely be off of here, or at least, like, near here. That's just a bomb. Where's big boy? Oh, he's underground. Oh my god, this this is just annoying, brother. Get out of here. Two for one special? Great, okay. Some of these rooms are just super duper annoying when you're trying to go fast. Especially, like, this guy right here. No matter how good our damage is, he always takes, like, a good couple seconds. Dude, okay. I am now in full believ believable, believable. I'm in full believable that uh, we, that we a won't get sub twenty, but b we're going the right way. Uh, there's the second secret room, which is often near uh, the boss fight. Why man, this floor sucks? I, I feel like if we just went chest, we wouldn't have even got the curse. I don't care if that's not even how the game works. Feels right. Okay, no sub twenty for us. Oh, well, if we just started shooting the right way, seven, eight. Can we at least kill the boss by sub-20? He's not even ready yet. Nine? No. We, we're going to kill him on the 20 on the dot. Come on. We killed him at exactly 20 minutes. And like I said, the chest takes like a couple seconds. But like, ah, oh, Damn. Well, anyway, I had a great run. I had a great time. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you please. And I will see you next time.